Hello everyone, it's great to see you here once again on Dee's Delights. Today we're making porcupine balls. Uh, this is going to take about an hour and 15 minutes, so you're going to make sure that you cook your long grain rice in advance. So what we're going to need for the porcupine balls is one pound of ground beef, which I have, one half cup of long grain rice, one quarter cup of diced onions, one half teaspoon garlic powder, two tablespoons fresh parsley. I don't have fresh, so I'm going to be using dried, so I'll use two teaspoons of dried parsley instead. One tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and one egg. Did you hear my tongue? It got stuck on that Worcestershire. I'm getting better at it, but every so often my tongue still gets stuck on that word. And one egg. So that's what you're going to need for the ingredients. Then we'll prep up the sauce here in a moment. So first, let us preheat our oven to 350 degrees, and mine is already preheated because I am making twice baked potatoes with this tonight. We'll mix in the rice and the onion, one half teaspoon of garlic powder, two teaspoons of dried parsley or two tablespoons of fresh, and you'll need one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Doug, can you say Worcestershire? Worcestershire, sure, sure. <laughs> And one egg. Whoops, I tried to put the wrong lid. Where's my lid? And one egg. I have that mixed up here. Let's mix that together until it's combined. This is going to make about 20 porcupine balls. And they'd have to be pretty darn small. Yeah, really. <laughs> you don't even know how much mix is in here. Doug likes to add his two cents from afar. I'm going to make mine a little bit bigger. I'm just going to make them about that big. I'm not going to get 20 out of that. I got about 13. So next we're going to make the sauce. For this you're going to need one 10 ounce condensed tomato soup. I'm using Campbell's. One cup vegetable juice such as V8. I got a big old thing of V8. I'll tell you what, I have never had V8 juice. The thought of drinking it makes me want to. You know what? I have never found it appealing. I'm sure it tastes fabulous in a recipe, but I would never dream of drinking this. Doug, do you like V8? You could have had a V8. Yeah. Yes, I like V8. Good. Then you can drink what's left because all I need is a cup. I could not find a small bottle of it, so I had to go with the big size. And you also need one cup of tomato sauce, so I got Hunt's. I'm going to mix those around and then I'll put in my garlic powder, half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, a little salt and pepper, and if you want to put some chopped parsley in there, I'll just sprinkle a little bit of parsley just to give it a little green. And then we are going to pour this over the meatballs and we're going to bake it uncovered for one hour at 350 degrees. That's a lot of sauce, but Oh well. I'll let those cool a little bit. Just pour some of that sauce over. They smell good. I'm not a fan of V8, nor am I a fan of uh, tomato soup. I do like tomato sauce. Kind of combined well together, I have to say. Hopefully they taste good together. Yep, the porcupine balls are good. The baked potatoes are good. I like them. Good, good. <laughs> What's your thoughts on that, Jack? Tell the camera. Tell the folks out there. Oh, wait, it's down. Wait, up, down. Up, 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 up. Oh. Whoops. That's hot. I can see the steam coming off. So what's your final answer? There it goes. It's two thumbs up, folks. No more. Three thumbs up. One hundred thumbs up. Oh, my gosh. Thanks for joining us here tonight on Dee's Delights, and I hope you have a fabulous week, everyone. Okay, Jack, I'll throw you in some fries. <laughs>